we are arriving at the city of Turpan in western China. With a population of just over 600,000, it's not a large city by Chinese standards. While the winter temperatures of this city can drop as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, in summer they can reach up to 40 degrees, and so the lines of trees can bring coolness to the high summer temperatures. Located hundreds of miles from the sea, Turpan is in a dry interior climate. In fact, it's in a desert. Despite the arid environment, several ancient cities existed to service the merchants and traders of the ancient Silk Road. To find out how settlement can exist in this desert location, we visit the Kares Center of Turpan. Without a doubt, the Kares system is one of the great engineering feats of the ancient world. We began our visit by reading the rules on a series of notice boards. The city is located in the Turpan Depression. The lowest spot is 154 metres below sea level, making this the world's second lowest area. As a satellite picture shows, it's surrounded by high mountains, and this is part of the secret of Turpan's existence. And this model gives another view of the depression and its mountains. The winter snow on the surrounding mountains provides the water needed for life in the desert. Even during our summer visit, the mountains had permanent snow cover. The secret of Turpan is a series of ancient tunnels which convey water from the mountains to the city where it creates a lovely oasis. The underground channels form the career system with the earliest reference going back to 103 BC. Our underground visit takes us along beside a 800 year old careers. At the peak of the system, there are over 5,000 kilometres of channels, and even today, over 400 career systems still exist. Along the channels, wells descend from the surface to provide light, ventilation and access for maintenance. As the water table flows down the slope, it is captured by a series of channels and then gravity feeds it down through multiple channels, reservoirs and ultimately to the oasis. The underground channels reduce the evaporation rate, which would be very high if the water was flowing on the surface during the hot summer months. A journey brings us to a line of wood carvings and this is at the Exit Souvenir Stores. Our visit has come to an end. <laughs>